Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Gospel Reflection today on this Tuesday in the 13th week of Ordinary Time. We continue today reading from Matthew's Gospel, reading chapter 8, verses 23 to 27. Let us start this time together with the sign of the cross. And the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus got into the boat, followed by his disciples. Without warning, a storm broke over the lake, so violent that the waves were breaking right over the boat. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are going down. And he said to them, Why are you so frightened, you men of little faith? And with that, he stood up and rebuked the winds and the seas, and all was calm again. The men were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man is this? Even the winds and the sea obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Whatever kind of man is this, even the winds and the seas obey him. You can just imagine the feeling, the wonder. Today's Gospel tells the story of a time of shock and surprise in the lives of the disciples. As they had really only experienced Jesus as the teacher and the healer, they had not actually been witness to his power and authority over the elements. So we should consider the situation that's told to us today about Jesus. As Jews, they would have been familiar with the story of Jonah and God's will being carried out in Jonah's mission to the Ninevites. When the reluctant prophet tried to run away from God's purpose for him, the ship he was escaping in was struck by a storm, and the sailors threw Jonah into the sea. God sent a great fish to save him. Similarly, God's power was manifested in the calming of the storm. So in the gospel today, Jesus' calming of the storm forced the disciples to ask questions about Jesus and who he was. Clearly, he was more than a healer and a teacher. So this gospel probably brings up some questions for us. Do we allow ourselves to be fully open to the mystery of who Jesus is? Does he surprise us and lead us to deeper awareness of his power and authority over our lives? Do we trust in his love for us? Do we share the power of his love and what he gives to us with others? Knowing all that he does for us in our lives and helping us in times of trouble, are we spreading God's kingdom with the boldness that might lead people to ask, who is this God that you worship? So are we being intentional disciples? During this time of pastoral renewal, we're called to be intentional disciples. Let us think for a minute. Have we taken that board on that call on board? Are we sharing with others what we experience and the gift that we have been given? Let us finish our time in prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, give us the grace to be always open 
to your infinite mystery. Help us to rejoice in the way you can surprise us and lead us to trust you in the storms of our lives and to be brave enough and intentional enough to share all that you have given to us with others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time again with me this morning. I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow as we share another gospel reflection. Have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.